Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group Science Center. Today we're going to learn about vinyl lettering. Um, we want to thank the guys at Artware Apparel who made up all the new vinyl letters for our computer shop, Applied Intellect, and this is what we've got. This is vinyl lettering. Now when you first get it, it comes kind of rolled up usually for transport. So the first thing you want to do is lay it out flat for a couple hours and we put little weights in that to keep everything smooth, but this, this takes the roll out of it, which makes life a lot easier for working on this stuff. Now, the way vinyl lettering comes is it's, it's like a sticker, basically. It's a sticker. And it's stuck to sticker stock on the back, which is like wax paper. And then there's a, a transparent, translucent piece of front paper that is lightly sticky. So you peel it off like this, and the letters will stick to the front paper and come off the back paper and then you place them on the window and I'll show you how to do that. But the first thing you need to know is because there's glue from here back and there's glue on the stickers, on, on the letters themselves, when you lay it out and you put your little weights on the corner, it's very important that you don't put the weight on the letters themselves. Put the weights off in the white space around the letters because if you put the weights on the letters, what you'll do is cause a very high adhesion between the lightly sticky paper and the front surface of the letters and you will play hell getting them off. So you don't want to fight that. The last thing you want is one more thing to deal with when you're in front of the window with one of these. So the next step is let's get in front of a window with one of these and we'll letter up the shop here. All right, so now we're at our window. Now, the first thing you want to do is clean the glass really, really thoroughly. Um, after that, you need a Sharpie marker and a tape measure. Now I'm gonna measure down two feet here, and I'm going to make a little dot on my window frame, and then I measure down two feet on this side, make a little dot on my window frame. Now I have a reference line, which should, in theory, be level. It doesn't need to be exactly level. You're not setting up a laser bench here, but it needs to be reasonably close. Now, I'll take a piece of tape a little bit longer than your window. Just simple blue painter's masking tape. And put one side on your blue mark over here. And the other side on your blue mark over here. Try to get it reasonably close. And now you have your horizontal reference line. And you go on the outside of the glass because these particular letters are to be stuck on the front of the glass and you peel them off. Now the wind is blowing this way so I want to be over here when I do this. I put the thin translucent side towards my leg and the heavy transparent side away from me and peel them apart and use my leg as a roller to bring that right around. And now I've got my letters. Now you want to be really careful in the wind with these because if it moves, it can ruin your whole day. Now, I don't care about the top. All I care about is the bottom and getting that level. So I just set that right on my line. Because if the bottom's level, the top will follow it, I assure you. And then working from the middle out, lay this in nice and flat and just smooth it out. And if you have a little bubble or something, just work it out. You'll be fine. That's how it's done. Make sure to get the dots of the eyes and stuff like that, any little pieces, because little pieces are the most likely to give you problems. You won't have problems with big areas. It's, it's the ends of the letters and loose pieces like the bottom of the E, the bottom of the T, stuff like that. Those will mess with you. Dots on eyes are always a pain in the butt. So you get all rubbed out nice and smooth and really, really lean on it. Don't break the glass, but you, you want to you wanna put some oomph into it. And then once you've got it all in position and everything looks right, then pull this down very sharply. And you want to have about a 45 degree line. And you want to make sure that nothing peels off and follows this. And just go nice and slow and smooth. And you'll end up with a straight edge down here and you just pull this straight down and follow it across. And slowly and smoothly peel off your backing.
Now I got a little crease in my E so I can rub that out. You can see that just goes right away. There's a little bubble here and there. Any bubbles smaller than a dime you don't even have to worry about because they'll go away all on their own. If it's a big bubble, like a quarter or something like that, just rub it out with your thumb until it gets small as a dime. You'll be fine. Just work it to the edge. But that's the basics of how to apply vinyl letters. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. I'll see you next time.